friends, I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. Tonight, we are looking at a reverb pedal from LCO Industries, and I gotta admit, took me a little bit to wrap my head around it, um, but I got it. So I'm gonna show you what I figured out. Um, I'm gonna be using a McGinney guitar Skylark plug into a Silktone amp, Silktone amp, sounds like this. We're gonna start with is the blend control and the blend control actually blends between two different styles of reverb so on this side we have a spring reverb what you're actually blending in is you're blending in more ambience and more lo-fi style reverb so Filter is a low pass filter, and what you use that for is you kind of tame the reverb a little bit. control here is the amount of reverb. You can think of it as kind of a wet dry control. So if you go all the way down with it. when we moved over in this direction on the blend control to get some of those ambient echoes. You hear that they come in after the fact, right? We can lengthen and shorten those, the drag control. we have the time and that's the time of the reverb. This button here will send your pedal into infinite repeats and oscillations. We're gonna start with something easy, but it is a sound that I love and it's really easy to screw up and they did not hear. And this is just a really like springy slap back. So we got the drag all the way down. We got this firmly in the spring area and sounds really good.
another setting I found super useful. It gives some really, really great echoes that in a mix will blend just beautifully. And what we did here is we took the, we're all the way in the full ambient side of things, got plenty of reverb, plenty of time. We took the filter all the way down because we want all of those early reflections. We want them all present in that mix because it's just gonna add to the ambience of it. <laughs> For one of the solo sections, I wanted to take advantage of how dirty this reverb is, and it's dirty by design. And so I was gonna use a dirt pedal through it and really kind of just make it sound big and dirty and nasty, or big and dirty and beautiful as I tend to think. And so I found this setting here that I really like, and it's one of those where you gotta play really long notes. You can't, uh, can't really shred with it. <laughs> Inventions DRV. Last setting is really, really great if you're working with soundscapes, if you're doing keys, if you're doing chords, if you're doing any of that kind of stuff, if you're just sitting under there trying to create ambiance, trying to create some atmosphere, works really, really great. So I think the thing that was hard for me to wrap my head around is what this pedal is mostly used for, and it's used for creating these big, beautiful soundscapes. You can absolutely use it in the spring setting and get some really great lead sounds, but where it really excels is by creating atmosphere. And that is what this pedal does so, so well. And it doesn't necessarily sound awesome when you're just doing it by yourself like we've been doing for the last 10 minutes but when you put it in the mix like we did at the beginning then all of a sudden everything makes sense so very very cool pedal i really really like it it's very different it's a very different reverb pedal than i'm used to getting through here so very cool so thanks for sending this over for me to check out and thank you for your time hey.